long bone immobilization. I have assessed my patient and the only injury we have found is deformity to the right lower leg. I have my personal protective equipment for myself and my crew. We are going to come in and stabilize the leg. I will then turn this over to my partner to continue to hold stabilization while I'll assess for pulses, circulation, sensation, and motor function. That is all present and normal. Looking at that leg, I'm going to find a splint and measure it on the unaffected leg to find one that is the appropriate size. That looks about right. I will then apply it, making sure it is long enough that it will stabilize or immobilize the joint below and the joint above. Gently lift the leg. And we will slide the splint onto the leg. And then begin strapping the splint to the leg, looking to see if there are any voids or open places. Little loose there. Take some padding to stabilize it. I've now applied the splint, making sure that the joint below the ankle is stabilized and the joint above the knee is stabilized. At this point, we can tie the legs together to stabilize the extremities. Or we could stabilize them to the backboard to make sure that the legs stay still. Once we have done that, I will then reassess for pulses, circulation, sensory, and see if they can wiggle their toes, noting that the foot and the ankle is in the position of function.